I seen Dion performing in a dress one time, I guess a couple of years ago. And while he was performing, and, and this is when he's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. What? Uh, while he was performing, he raised up that dress in the front. I said, God damn. If you're not shining the light from within, you're chasing the light. Mm. You ain't shining You already the light. know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok, you up to bet. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas fool gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water, man. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024, man. We back with another reaction. We got scary, creepy, conspiracy theory TikToks. It's a lot of shit. It's a lot. If you make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. And if you make it to the end of this one, drop real one for real. Also, for all my people out there, man, drop with you in the comment section too as well. Let's go ahead and get it. Fire Squad, what's popping? Let's get it. I'm not watching any fucking Republican GOP presidential debates because there shouldn't be any. The nominee is Donald J. Trump. Anybody pretending like they running for office is doing a disservice to this nation and all they're doing is just dividing the nation even more. None of them motherfuckers running. I don't care how. Look, Vivek is a, is, is a, is a very articulate guy. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump is the only nominee. That's it. That's all. That's how you Everybody feel? else wasting time. Stop falling for the bullshit and people who talk nice. Stay on the path. Donald Trump is the nominee. Everybody else, fuck out of here. <laughs> What's up with my man? He said, fuck everybody else but Trump. Man, Paramount wanted foolish ways. Yeah, in a motherfucking dress. They were ready to sign you on the dotted line, but you just couldn't play ball. Mm. Whatever happened to integrity, man, huh? How many brothers got to wear a motherfucking dress? Everybody on TV got on a goddamn dress. Shanae, Shanana, Shanooki. <laughs> what I'm going to be, Shanigga? <laughs> 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 He said, what well, I'm going to be, shit, nigga. Hey, this is a big topic right now, man. Cat Williams was calling out everybody from wearing dresses and all that. It's a huge thing right now. Pay attention, folks. This is what Cat Williams is talking about. They just got a little bit of chemical yeah. imbalance, that's all. Man, look, man, all we got to do is regroup, man. We can make this shit happen. Listen, man, you're not hearing me, man. I'm t I don't care about the money either, man. I wanted to build a career and make a legend. Not be out here dealing some some loser. Man, I'm through with it. Yeah, well, fuck you too. Never needed your ass anyway. Talking about making a motherfucking legend. You can't make shit. I was born a legend. I'm the last of the great ones, motherfucker. Remember that. When you go get your little punk ass, no name ass comics. Bitch! I am the alien creature. This is going on huge too. If you haven't heard about this, this whole Miami creature thing, alien thing, it was so many cops out there, and it was like it was just for kids that was had sticks and was fighting. If you haven't, I check that out. That's crazy, man. Let's get more into it. They saying that's the creature right there. I don't know what the hell that is. But it's something. It's something. Right there. They got us thinking she ain't shit with some titties and some ass. That we can chew, that we can turn. She thinking she don't need you. You thinking she ain't shit with a bitch. That's mm. what they got us at. The same guns we got, niggas down there got them for each other. Ain't not a gun on me for us. Mm. Yeah. I ain't, ain't none of y'all my enemy. For real, ain't none of y'all my enemy. Even if you think I'm your enemy, mm. I can't stoop to that vibration. Straight like up. I told the girl, I said, listen, you think I don't know? These people are trying to actively kill me. They ain't gonna get to do it though, because I'm too protected. But that's what they do, right? So you, you think they ain't gonna have a motherfucker amongst us right now? Yeah. Yes, they is. Straight up. 
It's too many people gonna fool me. And, and although I'm not the Hey, I agree though. Before buddy keep going on, I, I agree with what he's saying. It's a lot of gender war going on. It's a lot of blaming, pointing the fingers. It's not a lot of unity. It's not a lot of let me understand you. Let me listen to you. Let me not attack you. Let me not dehumanize you. You know what I'm saying? Let me sit here and actually have a conversation with you. Let me listen to understand and not listen to respond. If we start listening to understand instead of listening to respond, we'll get a lot farther as a people. That's just my two cents, though. Only motherfucker teaching for some reason. I'm the target though, because of how I deliver it, and they know who working through me, and they know what I came to do to activate, to help activate us. That's the energy. You feel me? But it's hard to see that shit on the internet. It's, it's too That's fake real. on the internet. That's real. It's too fake on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So you can't see that shit, and you see how much I get. Let me see a lot of. You see how much I get kicked off live. Y'all know to follow the page. Y'all know. Yeah. Stay getting kicked off. I don't know. That who this lets guy you know is. how real it is. They don't do that to nobody else like that. You feel me? That's crazy. African Americans built this nation. We built this nation. You know, you're just starting to get real credit for that. Okay, I don't know if you know that. You're just starting to get. You built the nation. We all built it, but you were such a massive part of it. Bigger than you were given credit for. Does that make sense? Right? This shit sound like some bullshit what he was on. I'm going to just keep it 100. People keep asking me what are the distractions and what are they distracting us from? Good question. That people, a lot of people are thinking that they're distracting us from the Epstein list that just came out. But that is a distraction too. Yes, it's true. Mm. But it's still a distraction. Everything that you see with these two eyes is literally like 5%. Then the rest is literally the spiritual realm. Mm. Um, this matrix was built so that you cannot see the spiritual realm. Mm. You can't see past the third dimension. We, that's why we live in a you know 3D. Um, and there's a lot of things going on in the spiritual realm right now. This is why these distractions are coming out this year. Mm. And there's a lot of things going on in different dimensions that is merging into this one. <laughs> so that's why they are doing cover-ups of, you know, the Project Bluebeam are going to do a lot of cover-ups this year mm. to say that these are the aliens, the, the aliens that they're projecting out in hologra on holograms in the sky. Hold that, on, hold on, hold on. He talking about... They gonna be projecting out hologram aliens. What is the world coming to? You talking about being able? You talking about in the Matrix? You talking about not seeing what you think you're seeing, and it's not really there, but it's altering your mind to think that you see it. That shit is crazy. That's not the real aliens, because there is actual extraterrestrials coming down now. You know what I mean? To help out humanity. Mm. Um, and yeah, so it goes deep. This is why you are going to see a lot of these distractions this year. It's because we are starting to actually raise in vibration a lot more. This whole planet, the collective of people as well. A lot more people are waking up, so they have to distract us. But it's not a physical distraction like they're distracting us from the Ep Epstein list or this or that, that, you know, that we all can see and know about. Mm -hmm. It is stuff that is that we don't know about in the spiritual realm that they are distracting us from. I agree with that. I completely agree with that. The war is in the spirit. All right, bro. guys. We're pretty sure we're onto a pretty big conspiracy theory here. So stay tuned. <laughs> she happy. We'll show you what's going on here. And we are currently in a place that has this logo on there. As you can see, okay, we're in that place. They're putting a new thing in. What's this what? little guy? Now we're not. We need to be a bit um, a bit quiet here, don't we? Right, yeah. We're not. We're not sure if they're changing from one to the other. I did hear a rumor that they are. This particular shop that we currently are in are going to be stocking that Anko brand, which belongs to the other shop. But I don't know. I just can't. I think it's really odd that they've got. One label on one bit in yeah. a different shop. Very interesting. 2024 is going to be very Let's just say the power grid goes out, okay? Yeah. I'm telling you, it's going to happen. I know. I okay. just don't know when it's going to happen. Meaning, is it going to be in 20... First of all, do you believe that the power grid that this guy is talking about is going to go out? 
Do you agree with that, first and foremost? Now let's continue to hear what this dude was saying. 24 during election year, because they're scared shitless that Trump could actually win. Is it going to be next five years, 10 years, 15 years? I believe it's going to happen. You best just do whatever you can to be ready for it. Some people are maybe saying, well, I don't have the kind of money. You guys got the money. And this isn't about money. There's ways of preparing in different ways based on the kind of resources you got. Protect mm -hmm. your family. How do you do it? You have to do a little bit of research, a little bit of studying for yourself to find out if that were to happen. Do you have a small generator? Do you have certain things set aside? What method of payment will you use if you don't have any cash or if you mm. don't have what other things do you have to protect your family i do believe it is something worth talking about with your family to be prepared for this because i think something like this is going to happen next 5 10 15 20 years and by the way i do believe it's going to be worse than covid because at least with covid you can mm. stay home still communicate with others with this you stay home your internet security gate lights Dumb. it's mayhem everything's gone so what do you do you just got to be prepared for it we that should be crazy crazy What's Trump trying to say? To your 87 million followers, a conspiracy theory that Joe Biden orchestrated to have SEAL Team 6, the Navy SEAL Team 6, killed to cover up the, the fake death of bin Laden. Now, why would you send a lot like that to your followers? It, you I, retweeted That was a retweet. That was a, an opinion of somebody. <laughs> and that was a retweet. I'll put it out there. People can decide for themselves. I don't, for themselves. I don't the take president. a position. You're not like someone's... He said it was a retweet, that's it. So news that's it. report, the same the story, media, word for word, they are robots. Some members of the media, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias. To push their own personal bias and agenda to control Hold on, man. I know y'all done seen this one before. All of these people saying the same exact thing, main, mainstream propaganda, the reality of the news. The news report the same story, word for word. I don't know if they robots. But they are saying the same exact thing. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Have y'all heard about what Alexa said about the next presidential election? Just mm -hmm. for entertainment purposes only. Let's listen very hey, close. Hey, want some fucked up shit? Alexa, who will win the next American election? The 2024 American election will not take place. There will be no winner. No War winner. Powers Resolution of 1973 or the War Powers Act will be invoked by the act of war with Russia and China. Once an invoke, the standing party will retain and remain in power. Um, once again, it's for entertainment purposes only. Who programmed Alexa? Right. You feel me? Why is Alexa saying this? Somebody wrote this in Alexa program that we will not be have an election yeah. in 2024. Why? So that mean Biden will stay president? The tensions in Ukraine is rising. Y'all just seen what North Korea and Putin just did, right? Yeah, that, that little meeting that they had and how North Korea said they trying to send soldiers over there into Ukraine. Somebody who got Alexa, ask her about this right. and tag me in the video. Right. Let me know what y'all think about what Alexa said about the next presidential election in the comments. Like and follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Let me know. Okay, now hear me out for a second. And I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but I, I just have to say it, okay? And this is like no disrespect to the families um, and the friends of the victims in the main shooting because that is an absolute tragedy and those people really died. And regardless of the circumstances of what I think about the suspect and the shooting and gunshot control and any of that, like that is still tragic. Okay. Um, but have you guys ever seen Arlington Road? It's a movie from 1999 uh, with Jeff Bridges. And basically uh, he loses his wife, he's a college professor, and he uh, is into studying like extremist groups, right? Terrorist organizations, terrorist cells, things like that. And um, he starts like getting paranoid and like uh, thinking there's these things going on. And like all of a sudden, like at the end of the movie, um, he's like the lone white, uh, ter the white terrorist that let the bomb go off, right? And I'm sorry to ruin the ending for you, but this movie is like 24 years old so that's like really not my fault if you haven't seen it okay 
and then like after it happens they use all these things that he had going on before that like oh he just lost his wife and mm. he was experiencing paranoia and they use all that and they frame him and um it's a really good movie in fact if you haven't seen it you should uh but i was just thinking to myself there was like a lot of talk that night of the main shooting i i i, I live like kind of close to me like no no like i'm not like oh my god i live near there because i don't um but like new england's kind of like we're, we're all neighbors um and when i heard about it i started going on like a lot of the local facebook feeds like like literally like going back and forth between like watching things between residents and people sending like videos and uh, updates and things like that and there was like a lot of talk about multiple shooters and multiple locations and Muslim shooters, uh, there's a 911 dispatch call um, in which uh, the person calling it specifically states that there are two Muslim men um, mm. in a car with a gun. And I was just thinking to myself, because this is odd to me, okay? So I I don't think, I saw the post about him going back and forth. He was like, yeah, man, I'm just waiting on my retirement papers. Like, he was like looking forward to retirement, like looking forward to the benefits that came with it, right? Mm. Like you wouldn't just a couple months later decide to off a bunch of people. And if you were going to do that, you really wouldn't have cared. And a lot of people are saying, oh, like, well, he like got schizophrenia. Like, that's not really how that works. Um, people can hear voices. And uh, whether you believe he heard voices because of schizophrenia or maybe his voice to Skull or maybe the CIA and MK Ultra, it doesn't really matter why he was hearing the voices. Mm. But what if there were multiple shooters? And what if they were terrorists? Right. Mm. And we saw some videos of like Robert Card. He was playing cornhole at the same spot. Like these are places he frequented. And like, according to the media, like, oh, like he was looking for his like ex-wife. And, you know, that sounds like Cap. It also sounds a lot like this movie, Arlington Road. So what if Robert Card went there, whether on his own accord or um, through some sort of like coercion, uh, mentally or physically, and mm. he went to this location and there were already shooters there. And Robert saw this and he grabbed his weapon out of his car and he proceeded to do what he was trained to do, which was protect the American people. Wow. And so maybe he took his gun out and he started shooting the shooters. And that's why they get him on video, got him on video. Okay. Maybe it wasn't him at all because wow. everything about this is so suspect. I'm going to show you wow. some posts and the 911 dispatch wow. call. And I want you to check these things out and tell me what you think. Hey, County out of Walmart. Definitely. The male that did see this stated he believed it was a maroon sedan. Two males questioning whether they were of Middle Eastern descent and at least one had a gun. Mm. She flipped that on his head, boy. Bro, protect Cat Williams at all costs. Who gets it? To be honest with y'all, Cat Williams ain't nothing but another Trevor Moore. Y'all remember how Trevor Moore used to use his comedy to expose the truth? Mm. Well, Cat yes. Williams been doing that for some time now, but he I'm guessing it. he just fed up at this point. So basically, in a sense, he's like, trying to tell y'all that these people that sell their souls, their roles are already scripted. It's so mm. scripted. Me? So they're not really funny. They're not really making their jokes. Hollywood is making their jokes. Hollywood is pulling the screens. When you sell mm. your soul, they are in control. He gets it. You don't have to be funny, but they can make you funny. You don't have to be a good actor, but they can make you a good actor. And when he was talking about the light skinned wife or girlfriend, He's talking about their handlers. You know what I'm saying? You. Like, you know how Kanye West, their Thank handlers. Y'all remember the Yo, game? this shit be getting so deep, bruh. Sitting here watching this stuff, you know, like, I'm just getting into these whole conspiracy theories, but I've always, like, thought about the whole conspiracy theories and stuff around the music industry. You know what I'm saying? I'm an artist. I make music and stuff like that. So I've always was like... What is going on behind the scenes that people always talk about, especially in the music industry? But you know, the music industry and the movie and acting world and comedy, it's all like the same industry, pretty much. So sitting back and really listening to some of this stuff, some of this stuff sound crazy. Some of this stuff sound like shit might be on, they might be on to something. Y'all was so lost you know in these saying? comments. The black man with the white woman, his handler. And Kanye said out his own mouth that that movie was about him. 2024 gonna expose a lot, including the Epstein Island list. Yeah, it's gonna drop probably in the next week or so. But oh. y'all watch these videos and tell me what y'all think. So there was a crossroads where we were both invited 
to an Illuminati thing and mm. it had to be one or the other of us and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and couldn't do the sideburn thing no more with the points. And mm. the next person they said was going to get $200 million because they were going to pay him $10 million a movie to do 20 movies. And that's how the conversation happened. So who was that? One who of was those that? persons turned out to be ludicrous, and the mm. other person turned out to be Cat Williams. <laughs> now, one person fuck. ended up with Luda. a light skinned, ugly faced wife that's never done a. Remember, I told you that if I say that, it applied to seven people? Yes. It's part and of what they give you. Remember. Okay? I didn't and get it. Learn. I'm not mad about it. I remember the looked a ludicrous wife, literally. Two hundred, sir. Fast Handling. and Furious is on what number right Ten. now? Mm. Two hundred million. I might need more women. Stay woke. <laughs> look, look the same. Stay woke, man. That's what they all end up saying at the end of the day. Mm. Kevin told you he won't go wear no dress until they offered him the dress, and then mm. he put it on. And what did he say after mm. he wore it? I made my own decision, duh. But you didn't make it before they brought it up, did you? <laughs> it's okay. Man, y'all gotta watch this whole interview. It should oh, be ashamed. Man. I watched but the whole thing. But this is a thing. country where we don't pay the teachers, and then we say the mm. kids is the most important thing. Oh my God! Hold on. He said this is a country where we don't pay the teachers, but then say the kids is the most important. <laughs> That's a bar. That's a bar right there, Lord. You can't have both of them. If you do that, we're going to end up with a generation that can't read. Guess what? Generation Z and A can't read. Why? Because who was giving them a book? We got an iPad or a phone. And now <laughs> the letters don't mean the, there's no cursive writing. Right. Sorry about that. So, mm. yeah, it, this is what period of time it's in. It's it, the, okay. I don't have harbor Let's any resentment like to White any of these this entities too. because I can't be jealous. I've you never seen them have podcast. anything that I Let's ever not act like you didn't If you out sign too. up for their program, you get a light skin weird face wife that never do an interview oh, in man, listen in handlers. 20 years won't do an interview They're nobody's handlers. ever talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere and now understand i'm not talking about one person what i just told you applies to seven people Checkmate. how they all end up with that have you guys heard that we may not have a 2024 presidential election i heard that now this video is for entertainment purposes only now this guy right here is Colonel Douglas McGregor, all right? Listen to what he has to say. The US military official has blown the whistle on how banks across America are about to close down, mm. and the 2024 presidential election is going to be canceled. According to Colonel Douglas McGregor, the public needs to know that there will be a sudden closure of all major banks in the US, mm. orchestrated by the elites, which will last for up to three weeks. Wow. Colonel McGregor also revealed that the 2024 election will be canceled due to martial law being imposed by the Biden regime. You're absolutely right. I don't think we'll ever get to the 2024 election. I think things are going to implode in Washington before then. Mm. I think our economic financial condition is fragile. It's going to come home to roost in ugly ways. I, I will tell you, I don't know exactly how it will happen. I think we're going to end up in a situation where we find out the banks are closed for two or three weeks and nobody can get into them. You think so? I think we're going to run into something like that, yeah. I also think that the levels of violence and criminality in our cities is so high Mm. that it, it's going to spill over into other places in society. Pl people that normally think they can live remote from the problem are now beginning to be touched by the problem. Mm. Then I look at this thing in Ukraine. I think Ukraine is going to lose catastrophically. It's going to be a complete collapse. And that, too, is going to have an effect here at home because people are going to say, well, wait a minute. Everybody told us Ukraine was winning. Everybody told us X, Y, and Z. I mean, it's sort of mm. a, the Russian hoax on steroids. All of those things are going to come together or converge in some way that's going to prevent us from reaching, you know, the status quo. Oh, another election. Oh, another set of campaigns and so forth. Mm. You see, I've heard this before, but again, you know, this is all speculation, but this is coming from a U.S. colonel, military colonel. So I would think he would have some idea. Mm. And I'm not going to lie. Everybody has been having this feeling that things are coming to an end anyways, y'all. Mm. Y'all see the state of the world everywhere. Y'all see what I post. 
literally everywhere is being affected by, by what's going on let me know what you guys think like share and follow for more videos like this thank you for tuning into my frequency keep up with me on my other platforms especially with my youtube where i go deeper on the esoteric level on these topics let's get this shift peace in yo this shit sounds crazy the bank shutting down no election people saying complete blackout Watching this shit be having you like, oh, we need to prepare. Or do we? Because these are conspiracies. But are they? The year is 2024 and your electrical car won't start for 72 hours because what you posted on social media has been deemed offensive by the government. Think mm. this sounds too far-fetched or it's not going to happen? Do you think the powers that be are not trying to mimic China's social credit score system? Wake up and observe the Orwellian changes around us. Mm. The ultimate goal of the ruling class is to control the masses. You hooked up to a social credit score, tied to a V passport, tied to your digital wallet, mm. where if you get out of line, they turn your purchasing power off just like that. You can't participate in society. Stand wow. your ground, stay vigilant, do not comply, or else we're all fucked. Damn, this shit sounds cool. Okay, has it ever occurred to anybody that if they can't find the slave ships, if they can't find the objects that they mentioned in the Bible, if they can't find the tombstones of the people mentioned in the Bible, what makes you think these things existed? Mind-blowing details emerging from a sick world covered by the glitz and glamour of the high society, five names stand out prominently in the infamous Epstein case. Mm. Let's dive in. Leading the pack is Alan Dershowitz, a well-known lawyer infamous for his defense strategies that have stirred the legal world time and again, has found himself accused by Virginia Roberts Jeffrey of sexual abuse. His vehement denials and subsequent countersuit have made headlines, but the proof is in the pudding, right? Next, we have Prince Andrew, a royal caught in the eye of the Epstein storm. Damn. His close association with Epstein, notably his ill-advised visit to Epstein's New York mansion in 2010, after the financier's conviction, has sparked international disbelief. Accusations of misconduct and sexual abuse from Miss Jeffrey have rattled the royal household, mm. leading to his stepping down from royal duties. Damn. On the third spot is Bill Richardson, a former governor of New Mexico. Also allegedly named by Virginia Roberts Jeffrey as one of the men Epstein forced her to have sex with. These accusations have cast a dark shadow over his once illustrious career. This shit is Next crazy. up is Glenn Dubin, a billionaire investor with deep-seated ties to Epstein. Including the controversial sale of a private jet, Mr. Dubin has been subjected to intense scrutiny, causing a pall of suspicion over his expansive business empire and many to question the extent of his involvement Damn. in Epstein's illicit sexual activities. Finally, we have Les Wechner, the retail kingpin behind Victoria's Secret. His intimate relationship with Epstein, particularly his role as a financial manager and contributing to the transfer of a multi-million dollar mansion, has sparked much speculation about his alleged involvement in the scandal. A towering figure of power, Wexner now finds himself scrutinized for his devious actions involved with the scandal. Mm. Let's not even get in the conversation about Stephen Hawking's and the naked little people solving complex equations. Just unbelievable. What? But as we unravel this intricate web deeper into the depths of these enthralling and questionable connections, remember the truth often masquerades in plain sight. Mm. And in this instance, it's a sordid truth that has shaken the very pillars of power. To believe we're only five days in stay tuned roseanne barr did you see what she said today she said she doesn't see a 2024 election even happening in the united states i don't think we're gonna have no bro this is a thing what do y'all think because i keep seeing these videos do y'all think there's gonna be no 2024 election let me know in the comments because obviously we keep seeing these videos over and over again where they keep saying it's not gonna happen y'all let me know what y'all think about that 
No election. You want to bet money? I'll bet. How much? I'll bet big. I don't think we're going to have a thousand dollars. All right. Shake hands. I did not want to hear that. I mean, it's possible because if Russia does technically declare war or we declare war, then he can stay in. Right. He could declare martial law or you could literally go into the War Powers Act, which then takes him out of the occasion. And then you have an entire emergency set up right now. Sheesh. Jeez. It had something to do with slavery. When the Second Amendment was in 1791, slavery didn't end until 1865. I mean, you're very, very... Well, I can actually, I can actually share with you something about this. Chief Justice Taney, and you and I probably have some common ground here, in the Dred Scott case, which said that black people could not be citizens in the U.S., shamefully, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court gave his argument for why. He said it would allow black people to own guns in this country. That is shameful. Yes, it is part of our history. But just because but some people may be for gun Second control today, to we can't sweep that black. under the rug. They didn't do the Second Amendment to help. Blacks couldn't get guns and fight. There were no, uh, uh, they were not fighting to give blacks guns. And when Taney said that, Clearly so literally, was, that was the justification in the Dred Scott case for why black people couldn't be citizens. Dred Scott and the first decision was not in 1791, by the way. Mm -hmm. But one last thing. It was before it was before the Civil War, as you well know. And I think that we and, should and confront exactly our history right. and, we could and have not, an open we could and honest debate about it. That's what makes vote. us stronger as a country. Until the 13th we gotta Amendment, we could vote our history and confront it. Let me ask you one last question. We're out of time. And that's how we unite this country. One thing we have in common with Trump is you've yeah. been criticized for trafficking in conspiracy theories. So here goes, do you believe, let me ask you this, because you and Trump mm -hmm. have both, both been accused of trafficking conspiracy theories. Do you believe Barack Obama was born in the United States and do you think it was appropriate for Trump to suggest to otherwise, even as evidence mounted, that the claim was a lie? I think... I have every reason to believe Obama was born in the U.S. and I have never brought up that issue and I have no idea why we're actually... Bro, bro, are you... Did he just ask Vivek Ramaswamy about a conspiracy about Obama? Are you kidding me? Is this what you're bringing up Vivek Ramaswamy on your show for? To Crazy. ask him if he thinks that Obama was... What in the world is happening? What type of race baiting is happening right how do people not see this they can't see through the bs of race hustling.com it's a university these people graduated from for sure because white liberals do this all the time as well he's literally asking vivek ramaswamy do you think about obama being a citizen or not why does it matter what he thinks about right. that when right. has he ever brought that up and why are you bringing it up because if he says that he doesn't it, look, this is what he wants. Once again, these bad faith actors, they're asking questions in order to trap people right. into saying something bad so those headlines can find them guilty for racism because that's what happens in America. You're trying to trap this dude that never talks about Obama, has only been compared to Obama and trying to be Obama, to asking him a question about Donald Trump and Obama like, what? That's a fact. Salute to him. Salute to that guy. Folks are saying that they're shocked by my full-throated endorsement of Joe Biden's re-election campaign. And I want folks to get one thing straight. First of all, we are in an absolute fucking crisis in this country. Unless you are an ostrich and have your head buried in the sand and are not actually paying attention to what is going on. But Republicans at the state, local, and national level are coming for every single right that you thought you had. Whether or not you are black, whether or not you are indigenous, whether or not you are queer, whether or not you are Muslim, if you are Jewish, if you are not a white Christian nationalist and if you don't, if you are not a man, Right? They are coming for every single thing and they are making no misses about it. Do you understand that what is happening in Florida and what is happening in Texas, and I'm specifically speaking to blue state folks, where we like to believe that we are safe, like, oh, I don't live in that fucking place and oh, I don't live here, so I'm good. No, the fuck you are not. Because what they are trying out, they're in their petri dishes. 
mm. what they're trying out in the petri dish of florida and the petri dish of texas and tennessee and arkansas and mississippi is shit that they want to institute nationally and they're seeing how it will roll and if you think oh well that's not going to stand well when they take away all of your rights and your ability to vote and have a voice in politics when they take over the entire system and then tell you that pretty much there is no presidency if you have elections they will look fraudulent in the way that they do in middle eastern countries and in the way that they do in eastern european nations like i want folks to get it clear mm. we have one person that is running for re-election that is a democrat and that is joe biden so if you are about democracy if you are about fucking freedom if you are about voting then you may want to get behind our president Otherwise, you may want to check your passport and see where else you can live. And God bless you if you have the means to be able to relocate to another country. But I'm here to fight for this fucking country. The country that I can't fucking stand because most days, regardless of how much I love it, it sure as fuck doesn't love me back. Not with its policies and not with its culture fucking wars that tell me that my existence shouldn't be so. Mm. So here's the thing. Folks, I know that you hear this a lot. Every election is consequential. This election is really consequential. This election is the difference between democracy and fascism. And if you think that I'm being hyperbolic, just look at what Ron DeSantis is doing in Florida. Just look at what the Tennessee legislature is doing. Look at how they're rolling back child labor laws and forcing women to have babies. Mm. Pay attention. The alarms are going off. We do not have time for the infighting, chitter chatter bullshit. Okay? I agree with that for sure. We're at war. They're hiding warnings in plain sight, and I've been trying to. Bro, this year, they making this shit, boy. Watching these videos, bro, this shit is like super intense. Super intense, man. Everybody got an opinion. Everybody got something to say. Let's go. Warn the public since 2020, going into 2022, when they started to raise interest rates. And I shared with you guys, as they raise interest rates and try to cool inflation, it is going to jack up the job market. Guys, this is a stark difference from any other time that we had had high interest rates. I want you to pay attention and understand economics. Number one, in the 1980s when we had a high interest rate, we had a good balance sheet, guys. America is negative debt to income ratio. Every single dollar in the system is someone else's debt. The mm. bond market is jacked up and inverted. There is no liquidity in the system. Companies cannot borrow their way out of trouble. The mm. stock market is overvalued and now, they're going to bring inflation down with higher interest rates and the job market is going to start to get shaken. What that means is the normal everyday person, the middle class is about to get smashed because when a company can no longer afford to pay their debt and they have to lower their prices, the most expensive thing on the balance sheet is team members. If you don't mm. believe me, let's listen to Christine Lagarde from the ECB and yesterday all these inflation across the United States, China, everywhere around. They're all bringing up inflation now, guys. It's coming, get prepared. But I'm gonna share with you the good news if you're paying attention. Check this out. Market remains resilient overall, although there are now some signs that job growth may lose momentum mm. towards the end of this year. Okay, you saw that pause, the swallow. The job markets may lose, and they have to, guys. They're bringing inflation down. Interest rates are high. Money is no longer cheap. Your groceries are 25% higher. Insurance is 30% higher. Appliances are up 12%. Rent is up 20%. Mm. So if you made $100,000 in 2020, you now make about $75,000 a year without doing anything. And if you've never heard of the frog in boiling water, that's the public, the American public. The middle class is the frog in boiling water. If you throw a frog in boiling water, it'll hop right out. But if you put it in a pot of lukewarm water and you slowly turn up the heat, it has no idea and it mm. boils itself to death. Wow. Guys, America's financial system is screwed. So here's the good news if there is any. Tell me something. So we have high interest rates. They're trying to cool inflation, gonna destroy the job markets. The consumer credit index is maxed out. Everybody's maxed out right now. 
If you are an investor in assets like crypto, stock market, you're in real estate, an investor, and you held on to these speculative assets that they told you were a fraud, if they lower interest rates on the back end of the year, guys, people are gonna come flooding out of the dollar into assets, mm. and your assets are going to skyrocket. So you have the Bitcoin having, you have the Bitcoin ETFs, institutions coming in, and if they lower interest rates, it is going to go absolutely parabolic, but here's the rub. If you don't get rid of the greed gene and you don't understand that there is no get rich quick and you must pull profits and that somebody has to be the exit liquidity and most likely it'll be the person who doesn't understand this, you have to pull profits on the way up. Mm. Well, as it goes parabolic, exit on the way up. It's called a ladder strategy. That's how I did it and that's how I'm going to do it. So as crypto goes parabolic after the Bitcoin halving, the Bitcoin ETFs get approved. I'll be pulling certain percentages of 50% of my portfolio on the way up. I'm holding 50% long-term legacy. So I'm exiting 50% of my portfolio. Let me give you an example. If XYZ crypto goes to its all-time high, I will exit about 10% of that 50%. If it goes to my next target, I'll exit about 15%. Does that make sense? Up to the 100% of my 50%. So as you're rushing to the exchanges, trying to pull profit when everything's going parabolic and they accidentally shut down because of technical errors and you become the exit liquidity, I've already pulled about 40% of my profit and mm. I secure and I'm going to max fund more index universal life policies, compound, secure, and I can borrow against it. I will continue to buy more equity in companies and build my portfolio so I can increase my earned income every single quarter. I will continue to add to my precious. Yo, who the hell is this guy? I'm going to have to follow him. This guy right here, he he gonna get a follow from laid back metals and i'm going to continue to expand real estate and most of all which makes me the richest man in the world i'm going to continue to expand and grow and open up my consciousness to a mm. deeper relationship with god so i love you guys i appreciate you i've been trying to warn the public so as much time as you spend scrolling on TikTok, as much time as you spend bitching and complaining about all the systems you should be spending that time educating yourself because this is your one opportunity that our kids 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 will never have to mm. shift your family's timeline. Warriors, rise. Get your shit together. Let's go. Love you guys. If you need support, first warning, I will never ask you to send me money. We do not invest people's money. Those are scammers. I'm not commenting on your thing. That is not me talking to you. They're using AI technology Facts. to mimic our voices. Never send anybody money pretending to be me. I have an insurance company, licensed insurance agents. If you do any transaction with these, you'll be sending money to an insurance company. We teach people how to, how to secure, compound, and grow their wealth with Infinity Banking Concept. That's in my bio here. Free consultations, absolutely free. Then I have my Warrior Academy, which is a paid academy. It is an education academy, not an investment platform. That's in the bio. And if you want free resources, I have my 16-page guide to warrior wealth, all free. So I hope this information helps you guys. Please use discernment. Don't get scammed out there, guys. Facts. There is no get rich. And if somebody on TikTok that's acting like they me. And they scamming people left and right. And people be emailing me, hey, Layback, is this you? They talking about they're going to give us a PS5. And look, man, the dude or whoever it is that's behind that account, it's got like 300,000 followers, I think. I think my my legitimate TikTok probably got like four, not even 500 followers. I don't even post on there like that. That other person is scamming the hell out of a whole bunch of my subscribers and people that fuck with my content. So be on the lookout for that, man, because it's happening with the people that follow me, too. Quick. Love you guys. I'm about to piss some people off with this one, but ask me if I care. I don't care nothing about it. I'm so sick of people coming up onto my post talking about how you going to switch over. You don't remember what Obama did? What you do? Huh? What, what did he do for black people? Nothing. Not a damn thing. He did something for LGBT. He did something for the immigrants. Mm, the white bankers. But what the f did he do for black America? Not you. Now I know you finna say, well, what is Trump gonna do make the economy back right? Which in turn helps the middle class. Which in turn helps black people. I don't give a f about how y'all feel about it. It's Trump 20. See, it's crazy because... We got this black woman talking about supporting Trump. A couple TikToks ago, we got another black woman supporting Biden. Both of them have faith in their person that they want to represent. It's just crazy. They're 24 in this bitch. 
on God. The coldest air of the season is on the way. Groundhog Day isn't for three more weeks, but it'll feel like it's this weekend as another major winter storm, the third in a week, will impact the eastern half of the U.S. This one will bring brutally cold air much further south, with below freezing temperatures possible across the Gulf Coast states by next weekend. More snow will occur across the plains Midwest, Great Lakes and Northeast from Thursday night through Saturday night. Severe weather will be likely in the southeast. The Storm Prediction Center currently has a slight risk in place for severe weather on Thursday for Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Then on Friday for parts of Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. As the system departs, it will drag a strong cold front through the southern U.S. Mm. and usher in those frigid temperatures. Behind it, some snow and icing could occur on Monday and Tuesday across parts of the Mid-South and Southeast, which would render travel extremely difficult. The world we live in, boy. He's not lying. Listen to this. They have every one, man, black people don't even know that every civil rights legislation in this country was given to us, authored and supported by Republicans and not Democrats, That's even up until the 90s. Even up until the 90s. So nah, homie, they say, well, the party switched. No, they didn't. Why do you think one gives you all the government assistance? Yeah, one keep don't. you dependent. Because one of, them is, one of them is a slave master taking care of their slaves. Which one is that? The Democratic Party. You got to do your research, bro. So again, listen what I'm saying. I, I would never sell my soul. Yes. This is why I lost my record deal. This is why I got dropped from the label. Okay, so now this is why. This is hold on. Yeah. This is why hold you know I, I got dropped from the management company. I mean, this, this it's, 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 it's a trigger for me. It's striking a chord, right? So you know, because this is what I've been through for real. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it's like to get, finally get a record deal. You 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 bust your ass. It ain't easy getting a record deal, neither, bro. And then you mm -hmm. get a deal, and then you realize that you got to do some homosexual shit or some weird shit, and you like, man, fuck this, I'm cool. And then they drop you because you refuse to compromise, mm -hmm. and okay. you, right? So, so, just, so you think I respect somebody? Hold on, you think so I respect somebody who, who compromised, mm -hmm. and I didn't? And you know how hard it is, and people, you know, how, you think it's easy for me to speak like this? You think people, mm -hmm. you think people want to hear the truth? No. So I'm not sensitive or empathetic to anybody who does not see it all the way through. I stand on it. I stand on it. Gotta respect that. Got to. Yo, this is a crazy way to answer 2024. By the way, Happy New Year. Soon as we get into the new year, January 1st, 2024, chaos was suddenly struck in that Bayside Mall in Miami. At first, you. the media attempted to push out the narrative that all of the chaos that happened in Bayside Mall was caused by just a teenage brawl. You don't need 100 police cars for that, guaranteed. So then the question becomes, what really took place at Bayside Mall in Miami? There's been hundreds of witnesses and dozens of people who have spoken out all across social media who have said that they have seen eight to 10 feet humanoid figures that don't look human, they're alien-like. Black, tall, shadowy figures, glitchy. And then in alignment with all the witnesses and people who are telling the story. Alone. Or it could be a hologram, like they was talking about before, with altering reality. It could be some hologram shit that they tried out, or it could be the real thing, or it could be not. I don't look. That was a lot of cops for a teenage bro. Long social media. And like mentioned by the witnesses, it was said that a portal or something similar to opened up prior to the humanoid figures appearing. What? So of course, once word gets out that witnesses claim they saw creatures or beings walking in the mall, Instead of taking precaution like regular officers and people who care about the citizens should do, the witnesses instead said that all of them were asked, did they take any photos? Did they mm. take any videos? Did they do anything? And then they got their phones searched through. I guess mm. for no evidence, huh? So while we don't know that these beings are aliens, demons, extraterrestrial spirits, we do know that they don't want us to find out the truth. Mm. And with that being said, let me tell y'all what to also look out for. Watch out for agents and people on the other side portraying as witnesses that were at the Bayside Mall. Mm. Some will instantly come out and say aliens because mass hysteria is part of the plan. Remember, mm. Project Bluebeam. And not saying that's what's taking place here because holographic technology is still a thing. 
Mm. Hint, hint. Two, some of these videos, I believe, though, are real. Like, they truly tell the encounter with true mannerisms, emotion, energy, aura, and you can read it and feel it through the video. And the ones that I believe actually were witnesses at the Bayside Mall tell it all the same. The veil within the spiritual realm and the physical realm is thinning within every second. And with that being known, you have to know that more spiritual appearances, good or evil, will happen. While shadow demons are real and while demons are real as a whole and entities are real as a whole, those were not demons. Wonderful. If you're intact with your spiritual consciousness, me and you know that it ain't nothing peaceful about a demon. No demon is just walking alone. They're always causing havoc. They're evil. Hey, y'all do let me know what y'all think about this in the comments, though. From hundreds of eyewitnesses this spying those crazy. 10 feet beings walking throughout Bayside Mall. This to even more crazy. witnesses spying it once it steps outside Bayside Mall. And then for the police to say that hundreds of cars are surrounding the Bayside Mall just for a teenage, bro. And then checking phones. Yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. And for more high-quality content, link in the bio for the YouTube. Crazy. So Russia releases calendar for 2024, and it's very eerie to me, it doesn't sit right with me. It almost seems like it's foreshadowing. We're gonna go through a few of the pictures, by the way, TikTok is mad at me, so if you see this video on your For You page, let me know in the comments, please. First off, why is there a Russian military right in front of the capital? And why does it mm. look like a huge end of America scenario is going on right behind me? Damn. And don't forget, Putin has been meeting with Z all of 2023. In their last meeting, Z had said, that there were changes coming not seen in over a hundred years. Mm. And with all the world events lately, all the movies coming out and everything geopolitically, this calendar is just very strange. It looks like the bear is in attack mode. And we know that people aren't too fond of the USA right now. Mm. Soldier with the cat showing displaced animals where combat would be happening. Mm. Here's the US Capitol again, and here is Putin, all buffed up and ready to go to war, kind of like that bear was. And as you saw in that tweet, the calendar was released by the Russian feds. And that's actually what the lettering is on this car, the FSB. And this last one's pretty deep. So it's a Russian soldier standing beside Peter the Great. We're about to get into it. And also a medieval uh, bow attire of Russia. I'll show you why it's significant. Peter literally modernized Russia, who was lagging behind the West at the time, and really just rebirthed a great society in Russia. But let's see the other one real quick. So here's that medieval warrior, and it said they fought against like the Tartarian Empire, or the ones that opposed them, and it's slaying a dragon. So we have Peter the Great showing great rebirth of Russia, we have the bear in attack mode, capital overthrown, him slaying the dragon, something about to go down. <laughs> Man, this shit crazy. The Bible describes evil people being in high places like Puff Daddy. Evil don't exist down here. It exists up here. Pop his pilot. It lurks down here, but it exists up here. And we're all of us down here trying to go up there with evil. Mm. Right. It, almost everything up here is evil. Jay Z, Tyler Perry, you can't get up here if you ain't evil, my niggas. Mm. It's a glass ceiling for those that's not evil. You can only go that high if you evil. Mm. <laughs> Strong words. Oof. You can only go that high if you're evil. Hey. Because that's. They cut him off. They cut him off. I seen Dion performing in a dress one time, I guess a couple years ago. And while he was performing, and, and this is when he's talking about the Lord Jesus Christ. What? Uh, while he was performing, he raised up their dress in the front. I said, God damn, Dion. If you're not shining the light from within, you chasing the light. Mm. You ain't shining the light from within, you chasing the light. In the process of chasing that light, uh, you gotta do things to get closer to the light. Mm. I ain't never seen that shit, bro. Dion in the So there's no pre-video of all them getting in, and they said, okay, y'all, we have to zip, zip, bolt it down. So, 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 there's no video of that. It's no video of them being dropped down in the water. It's no video of that. So it's no video of another submarine saying, hey, there they go right there. On side of them right there. That's them right there. Mm. So of them say, hey, y'all, we so it's they ain't showed us no video or nothing. 
So y'all just, oh, listen, we ain't seen nothing. Y'all believe this shit? When, so I, when I tuned in and I started thinking logically and analyzing, I tuned out immediately and say, boy, they bullshit in the world. You can't make me believe this shit is real and it's true. <laughs> Charles, they're white. We saying so. I said, I'm so, to what I'm not hateful, right? Even though, even though, even though, even though, even though, even though, even though I disagree, cool. disagree with the homosexual what's, what's, lifestyle. What's, I'm not hateful, right? Oh, oh shit! But my character hates gays, right? right. right. So, so black hates. Walk that line. So, so black hates gays, and in the movie, in these characters, you have to tap. That's why they call acting witchcraft, homie, because you have to tap you into it. You gotta channel it. You have to mm. channel this. So, when, when, so, so, this character is, he upset because you got all these fine bitches around here, but now gays are now starting to come to Atlanta. They got gay clubs. So he mad about Atlanta changing into gays, and it's the freak nick. So he don't give a damn about the freak nick. Uh, he finna start killing and shooting the gays. Oh, shit. Uh, so I have to tap into into that nature and into that character yeah. and, and, and what I learned homie that is that uh, as much as I disagree with it I don't hate it and I don't hate them because I, I couldn't mm. tap into I couldn't channel it mm. during, during the I reading see, I see but so so but I, just so you know the headline will be Charles and White kills gays oh uh, you know what, what I mean uh, like what, 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 that's, it, that's it, what the a, highlight will be it's, that's it's what they'll a, try to make uh, it about it what, what, it's great production so it, it won't be so it, the movie uh, it, it's a real big big movie and film uh so that's that's where that's where your acting coaches come in mm -hmm. so so just think about the, the the guys who have to play the role that they molesting the kid yeah uh come think on. about the guys Hell, who, who have to play the role as if they get raped in prison uh the facial expressions uh you have to go. You gotta go there. You gotta. Yeah, you gotta go there, homie. Now, now, if, if you if, if you don't want to go there, then you go on Tubi. <laughs> but if you want to get in the real <laughs> acting, yeah, homie, it's true, true. Yeah, yeah nigga. Said you go on Tubi. So that's why. <laughs> it's that, so that's why in some movies they got to do some real fucking. Yeah. Yep. Nigga. Hell nah. So Hell out nah. My bowl, and out comes. Uh, this paper Darius was found inside that was all folded up just like this. The note contains a mashup of words and references to current events and conspiracy theories. Miller says his big concern is that somehow a note made its way into a sealed food product. I don't know what's mm. inside the cereal or if this note was laced with anything. It's not the note that really bothers me. It's just what was... It's, uh, these notes are found inside food. What the fuck the note say? April 8th, 2024, is a date that has everyone talking. This is the day when the moon will slide between Earth and the sun, casting its shadow across our planet in a grand display that we call a total solar eclipse. This celestial spectacle will traverse North America in its entirety from Mexico up through the United States and into wow. Canada. Wow. It's an event that's both humbling and awe-inspiring, reminding us of the cosmic ballet that endlessly unfolds above our heads. But it's not just the spectacle that captures our fascination, it's the mystery and the intrigue. The sun, our closest star, is a source of life and light, yet it holds so many secrets. And as we anticipate this event, the sun's mystique only grows stronger. April 8th. Be on the lookout. So today just keeps on giving. This piece of shit is Aaron Rodgers. He's an anti-vaccine conspiracy theorist, oh, MAGA man. supporter. And he was just recently let go by the Pat McAfee show on ESPN after he said the following about Jimmy Kimball. I'm quoting myself here. A lot of people, including Jimmy Kimmel, are really hoping that doesn't come out. End quote. That's what I said. That's the entire quote. Okay? I was referring to the fact that if there is a list, which again, this hasn't come out yet. This was just a deposition, mm. right? And there are names on it. Then that would be the second time that a soft brain junior college student, you know, wacko, anti-vax, anti-Semite, purveyor, spreader of misinformation, conspiracy theorist, 
MAGA, whatever other things have been said by him and other people in the media would be right twice. Now, let me just say that 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 is the truth, number one. Number two, I totally understand how serious an allegation of pedophilia would be. So for him to be upset about that, I get it. Did you watch the quote? Because that's exactly what I said. Verbatim what I said on the show. Now, for the record, he was making a reference to Jimmy Kimball being on a list of Jeffrey Epstein's clients with no basis in reality. Also, for the record, I, I think he meant smooth brains because we all have soft brains. But before you all start celebrating this anti-vaxxer, smooth brain, MAGA conspiracy theorist being fired from the Pat McAfee show, McCaffrey. understand that what was said is that the New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers will not appear on the Pat McAfee show for the remainder of the NFL season. I have a suspicion that because of the non-definitive nature of this statement, that Aaron Rodgers will be back on the Pat McAfee show next season, especially since they paid him at least a million dollars so far. And in other news, Jamil Hill still doesn't work for ESPN in any capacity. Y'all have the day you deserve. Oh man, this is not fixing this problem that I have. Pat McCaffrey. How is that possible? Jim Carrey did a really good quote a couple of years ago, a few, a few years ago, and he said, I want everybody to get their dream, all their dreams come true, everybody, so that they could know that it's not the answer. Everybody had their dreams come true, so they'll know that that's not the answer. I ain't never heard that. That's crazy. Joe. What is happening to Joe Biden? Presidential Medal of Freedom. Yeah. Reserved for only three others. Pope John Paul II, President Paul Reagan. of Disney World, the company doesn't want you to see. Oh, shit. This if you look at a map of the park, there's a little green spot in the middle of Bay Lake. There's no description of what it is, and it's completely off limits to everyone, including employees. Wow. Around 20 years ago, this mysterious island was actually another Disney park called Discovery Island. You take a boat from shore, arrive at the island, and basically look at exotic birds. Fast forward to 1999, Animal Kingdom opens, and it's basically a bigger and easier to get to version of Discovery Island. This sparked the very quick decline of the island. Today, it's abandoned and in ruins, completely overrun by nature. It's also heavily guarded. If you're anywhere near Bay Lake, you can be assured that you're being watched. It makes you wonder if there's more to this island than Disney is. Damn, it's just abandoned like that? So if LA couldn't get any creepier with all the problems of crime and homeless, I ran into this billboard on this lot. So this is a vacant lot for construction. And it says, live life deeper, 144 stories underground. You may never go outside again. It's so creepy. I'm wanting to know if this is real with this construction site what? right here. West Hollywood, Beverly Hills adjacent, a controlled access community. 24-7 security, residents-only amenities, what? a new standard of sustainable living, but it's all underground. Live life deeper. The world's first and only completely subterranean residences. Terrifying. I feel like it's a horror movie. It's so creepy. Wow, wow this shit getting crazy. 
this is, this is a conspiracy good. theory. I'm going to admit that straight up. But at this point, I am convinced that the Democratic Party does not want to win the 2024 presidential election. This not is because they're losers, but because in some cases, losing is actually winning. Okay, so at this point, they've already canceled primary elections in four states, Tennessee, North Carolina, Massachusetts, and Florida. So not only are they deliberately disenfranchising their voters, but their anointed candidate, Joe Biden, has the lowest approval rating of pretty much any candidate in modern history. It's hard to make a case that this is a winning formula. Now the question is, why wouldn't they wanna win? How does that make any sense? Well, the most important thing that we have to understand is that the Democratic Party is not a public service organization. It is first and foremost, a private corporation. And the job of any corporation, as we know, is to make money. But it's hard for them to make money when they govern because, and this is the huge conundrum for the Democratic Party always, mm. is that part of their party platform, in theory, is supposed to be anti-corporate. Now, don't get me wrong, the Republican Party also only cares about money, but they can do so more honestly because that is their party ethos. Cut taxes, deregulate, become a billionaire. That's the American dream. And if you can't achieve it, it's got nothing to do with systemic injustice. It's 100% your fault. Now mm. back to the money part. It just so happens that Trump is a fun raging machine for the Democrats. Nobody ever talks about this, but just look at how much money the Democrats raised in 2020 versus 2016, nearly triple. And, and look at Republicans, pretty much the same. And of course, who is about to be president if Joe loses? Hence, Joe Biden for president. Take it or leave it. We don't care. You see, losing, in the case of the Democratic Party, can actually mean winning. These people be going deep with this shit. This is what they call the Illuminati bloodline. Yes, this is all facts. If you didn't know, Barack Obama is Dick Cheney's eighth cousin, and he's also George W. Bush's 11th cousin. See Princess Diana in there, Madonna in there. It's a lot of people who are related in the industry that we don't know. That's how they get these positions, and that's how they're plants in the industry. This is an article from CBS confirming that they are all cousins. I'm gonna show y'all this just to show y'all an example how people of power go to great extents to stay in power. Now, this is Charles II of Spain. What is the jawline is disfigured? That's from inbreeding. Believe by inbreeding, they are able to keep their bloodline strong. Hell nah. I do not believe in a flat earth, so I thought this plane was going to fly up and over the ocean until I realized we were flying the path exactly. Why do planes travel this way? The shortest distance is a straight line. This is no straight line. Hmm. But this is a straight line. Someone please explain this to me. Hmm? <laughs> I ain't even here. I ain't even here. If you're gonna go deep in the rabbit hole, there's like the grays that everybody talks about. And then there's another thing called the tall whites. The people have described them. They, they almost look like Scandinavian or something like that. Like pale skin. Some alien life is probably, you know, 100,000 years ahead of us. Mm -hmm. 700,000 years ahead Damn. of us. A million years ahead of us. But some alien life is probably millions and millions of years yeah. ahead of us. They probably don't want to fuck with us anymore. But I bet that intelligence reaches that moment where you can join the intergalactic hive yeah. of minds. And the civilization reaches some insane harmony with the very universe itself. Right. Mm. That's probably where it goes if you don't blow yourself up. That's real. Harmony with the universe. I'm with that. There were 13 heads, Ooh. and it was purported that the Navajo, the Anasazi, the Mayans, the Aztec ha each had one. Uh, the most famous one is the Mitchell Hedges skull, which was found in the Yucatan by Anna Mitchell Hedges. She reached into a cave. She was with her grandfather, and it was around 1926, and she reached in, and there was an oil cloth covered uh, item in there, and she pulled it out and opened it up, and there was the two-piece detachable jaw, Mitchell Hedges skull. The Hewlett Packard engineers did a test on it in the 60s. They said it could not have been carved by a lapidary, by tools. It had to have been 
wasn't polished over hundreds of years, over uh, over centuries, to get mm. to the shape that it was. So they said it was a polished item. So there's the Phyllis Newman skull um, named Max. She has to put it in the closet because it talks to her. Then there's the Mitchell Hedges oh, skull that's in Indiana. People said when they walked into the room and she uncovered it with the cloth she kept it in, that uh, there was an immediate feeling of well-being and healing coming over. There's one in Mexico wow. City. It's got a, a cross stuck right in the top of it, which is, you know, that would shatter a crystal if you did that. How that cross got there, I don't know. I ain't never heard of that shit. If we were a threat, they would absolutely kill us. And the yeah. fact that they haven't killed us means we're clowns. My brother's feeling is, and he's smarter than me and he reads much more alien stuff. I was like, yo, if they're here, why haven't they killed us? He goes, they don't care. He's like, I think they're doing research. And I'm like, all right, if they're doing research, then they're just going to let us die. They're probably watching us on screens just laughing. Like, yo, look at these idiots. Like, yo, check out Housewives Philadelphia. They don't got water now. Mm. You know, you should have yeah. seen what happened in East Palestine. Like. The aliens are watching us like Bravo. Wow. If water is clear, why are the oceans blue? Because water is actually blue. You just need a lot of it for it to start to look blue. This is just like how glass is actually green. You just need a lot of it for it to start to look green. For example, just look at the side of any mirror. It looks green. And if the atmosphere makes the sky blue, then why does the Earth appear blue in space? Hold on, is this guy serious? It's because the water's blue. If the moon reflects the sun's sunlight at night, then how can you see the sun and the moon at the same time? Notice how in this clip, the shadow on the moon, the part that's not lit up, is on the opposite side from the sun. That's because the sun's light is lighting up the bright part of the moon. How are the top of mountains cold when it's closer to the sun? Oh lordy. It's because the top of mountains are barely closer to the sun, but also they have way less air, which makes it a lot colder. If God said, let there be light, then that means darkness came before light. Doesn't that mean darkness is faster than the speed of light if it was already there? I don't know about y'all, but I usually don't use the Bible to inform on my knowledge of special relativity. How can the dinosaurs live on Earth for 65 million years and not evolve? Wait, wait, what? The dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. They haven't been here and evolving. Well, they're kind of here and evolving in the form of birds. The dinosaurs existed for about 135 million years, living from about 240 million years ago to 65 million years ago, and they did evolve during that period. They evolved a lot. There were so many different kinds of dinosaurs. The truth is right in front of us. We don't have to go anywhere to find it. Oh, this is an ancient aliens thing. So this guy just gets all of this information from the History Channel. Got it. Tomorrow we find out everything the government what? knows about aliens. So tomorrow a hearing in Congress is revealing alien technology the government hasn't showed us. In total, they'll be discussing alien hardware that's not made on Earth, UFO landings and sightings, and they'll be revealing alien bodies. Tomorrow we'll also be hearing from a UFO task force who'll be confirming or denying information. Now the whole reason this is happening to begin with is because this man called out the Pentagon for hiding evidence of non-human intelligence. Essentially, mm. this man has information on non-human intelligence and hardware technology. He's also spoken out today and said this in an interview it was underwater it comes out no friction there's no heat trail no vapor trail like you would see traditionally from a rocket or a jet what's the propulsion system how is it doing this so mm. I, I think there's a lot of questions that the American public needs to know and deserves to know frankly and and I don't trust a government who doesn't trust its people now the mm. hearing tomorrow is going to be chaired by this man and if the military or ufo task force actually reveal what they know tomorrow this is going to be massive news to the world and tomorrow might actually go down in history did that happen did that happen all right that was scary creepy TikTok conspiracy theories they got a lot of stuff they talking about when it comes to 2024 man the election stuff the money the banks man the aliens miami oh it's a lot of stuff that's going on right now food shortages internet it's a lot of conspiracy theories out there some of that stuff they be adding up and i be like i don't know y'all let me know in the comments man what are some of these conspiracy theories that you guys think is real and if you made it this far you a real one for real Drop that in the comments. Till next time, man. Self love and positivity. Our squad, I got you, and you know it. Hey.